Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostrov, where we've got... Who here? Halin, Hal, Halina? Halina, we'll say, yeah, is bringing hay over to, I assume, that one. You work here? You don't work there. Where are you going? You're bringing it to this. Ah, you're going to load these up. Okay. Should we put another one there? Probably should. Let's go ahead and do that. That wasn't where I was going today, but sure, why not? Rotate you in place, and that's fairly close. Something like that. Okay. And let's watch her do this. Right there. Eventually, as it piles up more, you can sneak through there. Good. Then uh, the roof slip up. Kind of a neat design. Anyway, what to do this time? find my notes over there um i noticed something while i was editing that surprised me i had noticed it before too but never thought to bring it up they store water here at the farm what is that all about anybody know i mean storing water okay yeah you've got to water the crops kind of i mean this is what would you what would you call this dry uh, dry farming you're just waiting for the rains to uh, to get it started, then you're waiting for the rains at the end to help it finish. But what is with the water? Over here, store 2.5 water. I've never actually seen them pick it up and take it out and do something with it. So if you've ever sat back and watched this process, let me know. I'm curious to know what that's about. Otherwise, let's see. Another note from the end of last episode. Where is... Where am I? Right here. I'm going to take textile out of here. The time it takes to go and get the textile from here to bring it over to here, these guys can just as easy walk over and get it, or right, right, walk right over here and get it. It's even a shorter path for them. So I'm actually making the pathway longer by having this person go and get it, drop it off, so they can go all the way over there to get it, drop it off. That didn't make sense. But I would like to get into here the hides. And I can't do that yet because we don't have any. But eventually... Actually, no. The tanner's over here. So it's just the... Uh, would be leather? Got a family out of money there. Um, back to here. The tanner is there. Uh, makes leather. So leather from the tanner... Right here should be picked up and dropped into here so that the shoemaker can just walk over and get it. So, shoemaker, I've turned off laborers and only hiring a, a woman in here. I've gone through all of this chart on everything. So, we've, we don't need any laborers for any of these buildings because this one's going to collect all those things, bring them all to here. So, I went through and fine-tuned everything, which frees up a lot of labor for construction and other projects like that. Uh, let's see here. So that's done. That's done. Trader. Let's get the oil turned off at the trader. Just, well, tell you what. Let's, no, I'll leave it off. I found that if I just set it, if I take it down to 10, there were, there were 17 in there. Then, there 17 right here. It'll be 17 of 10, and they still won't come and get it. So we've pretty much stolen it out of the whole town to fill this back up again so we don't need all these workers we're kind of done trading for a while except for potatoes <clears throat> let's think about potatoes so potatoes are here there's still 24 out in the harvest is that right yeah 24.7 we're kind of crossing over our numbers right there otherwise out in the wild there's six so there's about 30 potatoes left 30 bushels we'll say left accounted for in here um let's take this up to 25 that leaves 20 for the town we'll see how that works they'll be in place in case we do get into the trade it popped in i think he's the one that wants potatoes and this is the one that wants sunflower i think sunflower and sunflower oil and this one seems like he wants wheat and shoes I think it's what they were. Now again, this is, in case you're new to the series, this is only a simplified version of the trading system. This isn't the final trading system. This is just enough to get it going so we have this mechanic in the game. 
So I get the sense that it's going to get a bit more complicated and we'll find some way to be able to trade off all this extra wood and, and you know, all the other materials that we're making. But what else is happening before I turn this thing on? We are bringing in the last of the harvest. That's right, we had a family out of money. That's, where am I at? That is this one. And still struggling. Finally getting back above zero again. So both work at, oh, one is a constructor now and the other is working at the farm one of the farms, which is going to run out of workers soon. Once, let's see, everything did get harvested, right? Yeah, and this will be the last one right here. So it's just a matter of going through and picking them all up. Okay, so we still have all five workers hired. Well, four, we'll do five in there, get that picked up. This one's almost done. So we can, we only have three available and they're doing the job just fine. Getting the last of the hemp picked up and carried in. Yep. And you are carrying what? 0 0.51? 0 0.08. So they're random numbers. Interesting. You have got 0.5 potatoes. Kind of got the sense that 0.5 is the number they're going for with these. I can't click on an individual one until they pick it up. Only then does it show me. And once that's done, we'll go through and fine-tune the crops for next year. All right, let's kick the speed up a bit. And we're dropping off clay over to this house, I see. And getting all these projects going. You're paused because you're way over here, and, and really there's no jobs nearby this, so I kind of stopped that till I can figure things out. I didn't fine-tune these three. I, didn't, I missed this one. So the markets, I am going through and saying women only. And laborers will only be men. If we're gonna have someone make a delivery, let's bring a whole cart full at once. So let's do that to all of these. I'm only using one of these at the moment. Um, no men and no women. And no men and no women. Okay. And you are all the basics. So let's get the, what, what I call luxury goods in over here. And that would be, oh, beef. Sunflower oil. Clothes, shoes. We are at about 950 on our budget, on our inner treasury, coming up at the end of November now. Okay, this is still waiting for three more sunflower, pails of sunflower uh, seeds to be picked up. And the snow is coming. Okay, that's no longer a scary thing anymore. We can always get the harvest in in time, it seems like now. The boats are on their way in now. So that's the end of the fish for a while. So we'll turn all these jobs off and see how much construction we can get done. Um, wood, logs, yeah, we're almost maxed out over here. So it's just a matter of getting it delivered. Thatch is an issue though. And we got nobody working here. 15 thatch, let's hire, let's kick this one up 10%. Got Yaroslav working in there. I wanna, when I, I don't have the thats running all the time. When I do, I want it done. Um, do we want more fish? What are we looking at for a fish for the town right now? 23. We're definitely keeping up, but it'd be another set of jobs, which is important. Uh, what's happening with our bankrupt house over here? We've still got construction and we've got a farm. You are uh, Marina. So Marina, do you work over here? You're right there. Well. There is a, a marina there. Marina and Ivanenko. So, yes. So you need to continue working here. So when we shut these down, we're going to leave you employed. But you've got a lot of work ahead of you there. Okay. Um, end of December. And I want to start... Oh, that's right. Pause. There's something that did not get done last time that needs to be done. So before we go any further, let's get the next farmhouse built, our farm building farm. And what is the pathway to that farm? Is it diagonal through here or diagonal through here? Because it's going to be out over here, which means what? How do we lay out? I think the entrance comes in from up here. Probably so. Hmm, and I wanted to go through, I was hoping these would be gone, and they, they are. Okay, actually they're all, they're all good, they're not in the way. Let's take out this field, demolish, uh, unpause, 
Demolish. Do we have to kill everything here? Deactivate. What am I missing here? Oh, I thought I hit... Okay, there it goes. I thought I had unpaused it, but I didn't. And what are you? Oh, you're just a bench. You need to go away too. Okay, so this farm over here, in fact, this one can go away as well. Demolish. So you farm, I want you to pop off somewhere about like so. Actually, if we grab this corner and go up like what? One and a half, I think, is what I've been using for roads. So over in there, and let's rotate you to the top. You're at 17. And lining up, we're about there. So we're going to go to, we'll do 18. I think that's pretty good. You're going to be there. And I need one more. So we'll finally have this guy set up the way I wanted it. You're going to be there. You're going to shoot right up into here and go how far? Got a road to get in. Oh, there's a road up there. I see the carts are entering from this side. So I want to hit about like that. So something like that and over. Oh, our angle's off. Oh, it's off. Hmm. You know, I can do that. One more time. You demolish, you demolish. I'm not... I don't have to, uh, to stick by that anymore. So let's start over completely. You are here. Unfortunately, my, my uh, order's going to be off. But uh, let's take you from about there... I'll go up a little bit. Something like that. You're going to come over to roughly that alignment. How can I do that? If I came down here first and went how far? Ah, I don't have my the bottoms anymore. Hmm. <clears throat> what looks right? Uh, the top of this. I left this to be just about the right position. So if we did that, I took you over to there. And then rotated. We're at 20. I think we'll make that work. Okay, we'll do that. 20, and then another farm. Um, I've got to keep working off of these if I want them to match. So there, one and a half back is about there. And out to something like that. And then R. There, you're up in that area. Does that look right? I think so. And yeah, we'll do that. All right, you're that one. One more. <clears throat> now you're snapping to it. You're really making everything else look crooked. And you can be all the way up to there. Don't have to match this width over here this time because that cart uh, storage really uh, changed things. So up into there. Oh, I see. Now, pull back. We are limited by... Our cone, orange cones of doom up there. I like that. And like that. R. Right there, that works. Okay. You're a 24. You're a bigger farm. All these were bigger farms. Yeah, we, we, we're using the, uh, um, the, the bigger field size at that point. That is true. We were. Do I change that now to make sure this always gets accomplished? Or do we just use more laborers in this one? We could do that. Yeah, I guess so. Um, the order, you are... Boy, I wish I could have some kind of a designation here. If I go to... It's you guys, but I'm pretty sure that this one is clear over here. Like, let's make that assumption now. You are there, and you are there. So if we want field one, are you up in that top corner? You are. So field four is this one. And... Field 6, then, is that one. All right, we're good. So you guys are going to all be Sunflower. And current conditions, you are a fallow. You're good. You should be a fallow. All right. So you, one, let's turn everything off that I can. So there's no more confusion as to which is which. All of this is now the current season, and you are fallow. And then pop in, and you are going to be Sunflower. You are Sunflower. You're next going to be Fallow. So on, off, on. And then we'll stagger them backwards over there. So three is going to be Fallow. 
uh, right there and do that and and oops and that now the next addition I want to see to this game is copy paste <laughs> uh, oxygen not included finally did that there are quite a few complex settings and uh, in all of the planters and whatnot and it was really nice when they included the copy paste to, to go in and and uh, uh, be able to just copy to the whole map you know every, every everything you use the same thing off on off so you're on so four and six are on so you're going to be sunflower and fallow your fallow and sunflower no I skipped one you are fallow and sunflower and fallow all right so we have sunflower and four and six and two all right off on off on off on all right that's that one and the reason I'm slowing down is I knew by the time I finished that one I would already be into January and wishing that I could go back and look at the budget so let's go to the town hall and look at the economy okay let's see what we can get out of this we did about 500 more in trading so we should be 500 to the good but we aren't so subtract that from that we're at shall we say 140 it's our 340 so about 160 not as good as last year when you pull all the trading out of it so how is that possible it's right here isn't it salary so we paid about 200 more in salary but we also did about 90 more in sales that offsets some of it um, house rent was about the same and what else here imports we imported a little bit more okay I don't see reason to do any more importing unless hides ever becomes available though it would be nice to get the dried fish in just to give some more variety to uh, uh, to foods but not until we've got a, uh, a budget that is is neutralized that uh, is, is making as much as it's selling as it's as it's spending um basic monthly wages we could take the rent down like I think I may have done that once already I think I started at point three if I take the rent down to point two we're gonna lose a little bit in rent that's probably why we have so many more houses and yet the rents almost the same as I did take it down one notch take the rent down a little bit that'll give them more money not much more but you know multiply that by 12 months I assume this is a monthly rent textile just came available um, no I don't need that that's fine I need hide hide no I need leather to become available then I want to get over to the market stall uh, warehouse wherever the warehouse is at uh, right here and add leather to that chart it only happens when this it's available in, in town anyway um <clears throat> not gonna touch the wages right now because that will cause more people to go bankrupt I don't want to increase it because that's gonna hurt us more um, <clears throat> we could take this down a notch and help out some of the poor families all right so I don't need to oh did I really do that all this time went by and I yep I got to talking about that I never went back to this one I still need to get a let's pause get a farm in here yep got a little sidetracked there all right I was trying to figure out where to put the farm when I realized I wanted to move that field and I still want to straighten those up but that's that's where that's gonna go so there's our width which means we need to stay below the clay pit which is not removable okay so our, we're limited to down in here um, your sphere is somewhere in here so we're limited to about this point and down or actually the corner here and ending okay so I think we figured one time these fields are roughly the width of that farm, right? 
There, the width of the farm one is rotated like so. Okay. Which is going to be the orientation. We're going to go like this. Now, is there a chance that I can get this to match the actual... Yeah, right there. That should match the lines in the map. Okay. You're going to be there. Which means... Oh, these shadows make it tough. The farm needs... To, the, the field needs to start about there. And I'm just going to go a little bit further. Which means the next one's about there. Uh, can I... No, I can't move. Let's move over a little bit. Okay. About there. So that field's about there. Which is there to about there. Which is there to about there. So there is enough room to do this. Three fields in there. In this pattern turn sideways. Not not sideways. You're gonna turn you're gonna come in from here. Oh. Alright, what does that do? Huh. Alright, these are fifteens. So in that case I need to be rotated this way. Okay. Which puts the first uh, touch the R, the first field ending about here. So we'll say somewhere in the middle of that clump of, of shadow right there. Okay, let's grab you and a farm and put you... Where's the base of a tree? Okay, right there. I think I can go from here out to here. I want to follow these lines best that I can. Um, it's hard to tell. With, oh, I'm starting in the shadows. I'm starting the hardest part. And you are going to stop somewhere about here. So if we do this, get out into where I'm not in the shadows and I'm not following. Okay. Take you out to here. Out to there. That looks pretty good. Okay. Um, for me to hit 15, it goes to there. Boy, you don't look like you're a rectangle. You aren't. What am I missing? That's the right width. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, let's take it down... A little further. It's about that fence post. Oops. There. Ah, I've lost it again. Okay. Alright. Let's start somewhere else then. That's too difficult in those shadows. Let's do this again. I guess I've still got it queued. Yeah. So we need to be at this level. Let's come across over here then. And we can start as close to that as possible. We've got a natural drop in elevation right here. Oh, okay, I hadn't thought about that. That farm has got to sit in a place where it's going to function. Hmm. Well, I think maybe the easiest way then is just to... Can I do that? I was worried about that green line there. Uh, the field tool. All right, well, let's get you into something like here. All right, are you lined up well? That's vertical. Let's see, touch the R can't quite tell. Not in the snow. I'm going to say that that's right, but boy, everything else is so far off. Okay, I'm going to go back one. And we'll set you... Something like that, I think. Okay. So with that, let's see what I can do I'm trying to remember where that entrance was. So if you were something like this... And you went up to that. Okay. That actually worked. Now that's lined up pretty good to the entrance of the farm. Yep, let's do that. Right there. Alright, one more. And you're going to be one and a half back. So something like that. You're going to go beyond about that much. And, but if I were to do this, let's see. It doesn't really snap. Okay, there's the snap. Let's take you to about like that. And then send you across and rotate you around. All right. 
I need to get you out to about like this. So let's go a little, f not quite as far. Right there. Right there. And here, there's a 16. We'll go with that right there. 15. And how best? I can't grab a corner. I can snap to that post, though. That's real close to that post, too. All right, we'll say that's good. There. I'm going to come out like so till about the same distance over there. Something like that. And then R? Nope. T. Out to 15, 16. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's grab another one and see how close to this we can get. Let's turn you. Okay, that's vertical on my screen there. Um, I don't think we need to get a uh, cart storage out here. I think the cart storage would be smarter done... Let's see, I'm, just, I'm still going at slow speed. Uh, actually, I am. Let's, let's stay there just a little bit longer. Cart storage seems smarter to be done at the... Where am I at? We're growing just enough to where I, I lose my place now. Needs to be, cart storage needs to be right here. That's something I need to fix. They need to be able to leave the oh the warehouse, grab a cart, go do what they need, come back, drop it off, and then drop off the cart. As few steps as possible from here. So cart storage needs to be here rather than at the source, say at the farm, where he walks over to get a cart, loads it up, brings it over, drops it off, brings it all the way back, drops it off the cart, and then goes back. So it's, it's double the trip if the cart is at the end of the of the trip rather than beginning. So I need to get cart storage in here rather than at the farms. This one, well, this one could benefit him. Yeah, if he can pick up multiple hides, then that would benefit him. But I don't see needing four carts in there for that. Uh, these guys, hmm, if that cart storage was right over here between these two, that would be a little bit better and they can all share it. Anyway, um, what I wanted to do, let me pause that guy. I want to get this guy out to the front. I want to get this done before the uh, winter ends, which is one thing that I was waiting to, uh, to do before I turn the game back on again. Let's pause all of these and have everybody concentrate entirely on that farm until it's done. You're the second warehouse. You I wanted to see done as well, but we'll pause you. All right, everybody work on this. Now, let's turn on the game, and we can run it at 2. Speed up a little bit while I'm getting the rest of these fields put in. And let's see if I can do it from this angle. I want to be right about there. That looks pretty good. We'll go with that. Now, I can't, can't get you in there. You're too close. All right, so go to right there and click that works though we're a little bit of an angle a little bit of an angle and we're getting closer right there right click oops and left click okay that looks pretty good 15 all right I gotta go a little wider all right so same angle Right click you to there. There's a 15. Just made it. All right. You live there. Now, all of these other ones I've been able, because the farm is, you know, the entrance to the farm is, is uh, not in the middle, so everything's offset. So all of these I've been able to make work by just grabbing this corner. One and a half is right there. You are over to there and need you to go out this far. That's a 17. Um, but the pathways all look pretty even. Yeah. Oh, uh, wrong button. Darn it. I was just thinking, I started, I normally don't start building it until I've laid out all the, the fields so I can then decide if I want to twist this one notch and line things up better. And. We're not that far off. I'm, it's it's crooked, but I think we'll just have to live with it. Anyway, you were 
there, so back to there. And I have to think about this. If I if I double click in the same spot, it's, that's what gives me the field that is one pixel wide. So I gotta be careful about doing that. You're gonna go to there. I think you are. Okay. Touch it back just a little bit and call that one good. 17 is what you are. You there and this corner and pathway is something like this. There and R. There it is. And they didn't overlap each other here. 15. You want to snap right there. I wonder why. Maybe that's a perfect fence post distance. Interesting. I'm going to take you out one notch to the 15 mark right there. All right, with that, that farm is laid out. Now, where are we? We're January and we're still early. Okay, you are set up for sunflower only. You need to be set up for wheat only. So let's just kind of right click on all this stuff and clear it all out. And down to you two, right there. Okay, now, I guess I can see here. Let's verify what wheat is. Wheat is 50-60 and no blue. So blue does not matter anymore. So 50-60 plus plowing, I should be able to get two crops in. 50, oh 60-60, let's go with that. 60, use it all up, which we don't because we only get 5 eighths to 3 quarters at the very most of the bar used. So that should be 5 eighths to 3 quarters of that 60%. So for that matter, let's say we're at 40%. And then we're going to add in, we'll, we'll estimate down to 15% for the plowing. So that becomes, so we've taken out 40, we're at 60, now it goes to 75. So we took out 25 in the end. So we should be able to get three rounds of wheat in. I think so. Let's do that then. Wheat, wheat. What's popping up over there? Autosave, and a wheat, and a fallow. Okay. So if we did that, then it would be wheat, wheat, fallow, and wheat. And then this guy, wheat, fallow, wheat, wheat. That way we're kind of staggering everything. Um, that messes up, though. No, I think that works. I think that works. We're, we're hurting right here, but we're only two crops and then a fallow. This one's hurting even more, but we're only one crop and then a fallow. Yep, I think that's going to work out fine because we've got pre-existing conditions here. So you were the... So where's fallow start? Fallow's going to start right here. That's the one that's doing the best, best job, huh? Oh, well. Well, not oh, well. Let's think about this. You're this one. Field one is whom, and we're in the middle of January. I want to make sure to recognize before March 1st happens, because I'm tunnel vision into this little chart right here. Um, in fact, while I'm slow down, while I'm tunnel vision, is there anything else? How are the cow sheds doing? What else can I be? What else needs to be checked on before this thing runs for months on end and not even noticed it? Um, I did want to lay the footprint for something here. So let's make you go away. Demolish, demolish. And there's a little bit in there. There's quite a bit over here. Let's not demolish you just yet. Let's see if they do pull all the supplies out of this by the end of the winter, which she's about to do right now. Nope, fooled me. And so that means I'll pull, I do want to pull you though. All right, I wanted one cow shed right here. I want another one over here. And when those two up and running, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one and twist it around so it follows the contour here better. I think I'd rather do that. So let's get a cow shed. I want four cow sheds in this area. And then all of the the uh, hay over here. Will one well handle that? These houses are gonna pull from it too. That might be just enough doubling the cow sheds to tax this thing too much. 
I'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, this building, cow sheds right up there. I want the doors aimed at the at the other one and at the slaughterhouse here. All right. Straight is one more R. Kind of. You know, it's odd we can't line them up to each other. This thing was set by using the same R and T that this one's being set. There should be a position that they match, but it doesn't always work that way. So now it's just a matter of making it look good in here, which I think is one tap back. I think so. This is off a little bit. All right, so you are going to land like that. Do I want a pathway in between or do I want them butted up? I think I want a pathway in between. I think I want them to be able to travel along the base of that. So if you are there, that will reshape the, the existing pathways to send them down into there. Um, anything that that I wish I hadn't done by doing that. Now I'm kind of wanting to go back to that. Boy, they're, they're both as much off as, as not. Okay, you're going to be there. I think that works. All right, you pop into there. And I don't know where the other one is going to line up as far as being able to move the uh, hay storage to the, you know, to the end of that. So I'm not going to be able to do that. You're going to land somewhere like that, somewhere symmetrical to these two yards. Or what would look good? Is that it right there? Yeah, I think it's right there. Anyway, you're going to go in a place like that. And you could go further down. You could go further down. In which case, it would turn more like that, probably. Let's see, if you lined up with that yard and you were centered between all of them, that looks better. It probably does. Probably right in that position. Hmm. We're in January. Wish I knew how long this would last. You're 10 and what, like 4, 5, 6, 13. You're nothing. So there's 23 over here. And at what rate are you guys pulling them? You have a lot in storage, too. Let's make that go away. <clears throat> so you're going where? You are a cow shed. No, you are not clickable. There we go. So Makita, he makes drills. Um, he's not even part of this. Okay, let's make you go away. We're in January still. And let's put that cow shed in. Because right now I've got that angle set up. Right there. So if I do this, what looks right? I mean, that looks fairly balanced this nice arc going on in here. What did I just touch? Oh, right up in here. Okay. <clears throat> How close to the houses? That right there gives me about the same width between the bottom right and bottom left corners of those fences. That's parallel to that one. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. You're going there. You've got, you guys are not that important right now. Although, if I can get one of you in, I can transfer this out and get it deleting. Okay, we'll put you right there. How you doing? There we are. You are halfway. Clay is in and being installed, which is the walls in this case. And we've just got to put the rest of the wood up in the thatch. Okay. All right, so with that running, I was over here and I can kick the speed back up again. I think that is all that was pending. Warehouse, farm, stores water, yep. Okay, I think that's most of my notes. So, where were we here? We were at this one, four, which, scroll down a bit, uh, five was the one that was going to hurt. Four is who? That's where I was at. You're four. So, you're one in this case. One is up there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So, one, two, three, and you're fallow. You're fallow. Any reason? Tell you what, let's let's change the order on these guys. Let's put the fallow one as the one that, uh, where are we now? End of January. Uh, that had the, the least nutrients. Oh, we have, we have competition. 54 and 59. Okay. Well, the 59 needs to be a double. So you're going to be 
uh, wheat and you're gonna be wheat and you're gonna go fallow and you're gonna be wheat so that leaves this guy as a fallow wheat wheat and so what do we got here I'm moving my map message from all right and you're the one we wanted to um, pause because I want to finish this thought before I dive into that I actually have to end this episode soon darn it takes a long time to do simple things for me um, look at this again three two one zero zero so you we have a two let's do a three up here you're actually in pretty good shape you're a three okay so recap three two one three two and fallow that leaves okay what does that leave there's a fallow the first year second year there is one fallow third year there's two fallow and next year there's two fallow so there's always at least one fallow in there and there okay um trader you right there want to buy our potatoes okay we had 30 potatoes well it's only been a month month and a half though well, it may have been in december all right so two months 30 potatoes right there it's down to 17 because we've taken them out all right so we moved 10 more so we've used three potatoes three-ish potatoes since doing this okay i'd say we can pull that off so let's go ahead and there you are take um 10 potatoes and then take 15 potatoes okay now i have to remember to pull them out of the trader after they've done this so that we don't then steal the, all the other 17 and pile it into here so when i got rid of the sunflower yep it did move the sunflower oil over to here good okay how much sunflower is over here now two yeah we're waiting for next year's crop to come in then we can afford to to uh three well that is a lot tell you what let's go ahead and put 10 back in here that should still leave plenty for the town sunflower oil and oh there's still 15 in here really okay well we'll leave the 15 then because we managed to get nine piled into here and that's plenty for the town and there's two more coming and there's still six or so to be made and yeah I guess we're fine there all right um tell you what I will set this up as a hemp farm off camera and next time we'll get this going as a potato farm so that's probably the best way to do it I need to shut this down yeah yeah I think so now you did not need to be running so pause you you're the concentration I've got to get that done so next time hopefully we'll We'll be starting right there. So it's a Noble Rambler. Thanks guys for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.